Can you just open your heart and begin to receive him? Begin to receive him. Begin to receive him right now. your mouth and sing it in your own way. Say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit break out. Say, spirit break out. Heaven come down, yeah. One more time. Let me hear everybody sing. Spirit break out. No music, no music. Break our walls down. Break our walls down. Holy Spirit, Spirit, yeah, yeah. Break out. Heaven come down, now, now. Heaven come down. Ya Rabba, sha da 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 da. Can you just get excited? Can you just get an overflow, over joy? of God's presence this morning. His presence is so beautiful. His presence is so beautiful. I don't know if anybody can feel it. His presence is so beautiful. Can you just put your hands together and celebrate God? Celebrate His presence. Oh, can you celebrate Him right now? Put your hands together to acknowledge that God is here. Put your hands together to acknowledge His power, to acknowledge His presence, to acknowledge the things that God is about to do, the things that eyes have not seen ears have not heard streams of joy can you make some noise streams of joy streams of joy can you make some noise yeah we're about to turn it up right now y'all feel that Everybody, 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 everybody. I need y'all to dance. You gotta dance this morning. Hey. Okay, can you tell somebody you gotta dance? Tell somebody you gotta dance. Hey. Hey, let's go.
are the reason why I pray.
Listen. My God is good. 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 Oh, he's good. If your God is good, let me hear you say. My God is good.
forth ahead of me. Therefore, I break out. I break forth. I break through. I pass through the gates. I have my ma. I have my ma. I celebrate my ma. On Saturday day, in the order of Ruth, I move from handfuls to mega harvest. Can we do that one more time? Say, I move from handfuls to mega harvest. Like Isaac, I crave for more. I wax crates. I grow. I move forward until I become very great. Until I become very great. My harvest shall overflow. 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 I step into my mouth. If you believe it, somebody shout amen. 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 Come on, damn those hands together for Jesus. His word. Um, this morning we're celebrating International, International Children's Day and I have someone that came up stage with me and we really want to appreciate our pastors for giving us an opportunity so we're coming up to do a presentation, right? Yes. So please put your hands together as the kids come up. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. We are mighty arrows. We are burning and shining lights. We know that what God cannot do does not exist. Arrows. We are burning and shining light. We know that what God cannot do does not exist. Burning and shining light, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you. My name is Davina. I'm a mighty arrow. I'm a burning and a shining light. I obey my parents for it is right. Thank you. My name is He. My name is Hezekiah. I'm a mighty arrow. I'm a burning and shining light. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Thank you. My name is Daniel. I'm a mighty arrow. I am a burning and shining light. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. My name is Tony. I'm a mighty arrow on a burning and shining light. God has put his spirit in me to obey his command. Yeah. I am a, my name is Gabriela. I am a mighty arrow. I am a burning and shining light. I am a kingdom giant. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Thank you. Hallelujah. 
Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost his grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. There's the one who set me free. folks. 
I cannot be small. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. I am a mighty arrow. I am a burning and shining light. In my life. What God cannot do. What God cannot do. What God cannot do. Does not exist. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Lord, we bless your holy name. Come, come, come. Don't go. Come, come. Don't go yet. No, no. Let them to come. All right. So, so we're going to do something very prophetic. Good. We're going to do something very prophetic. We're going to use them as a point of contact. The word they are spoken, they are not just ordinary words. It's a sound in their generation. It's a sound in generation and generation to come. So we're going to use them and deploy that sound. Let that sound go into their generation. Let that sound begin to speak for them. Their generation will serve the Lord. Their generation will know the Lord. Their generation will not be small. Every power, every power that want to reduce their generation, we say fire. We say fire. We say fire. We declare fire. We shall fire. We shall fire. There shall be a burning and a shining light. Nothing will stop their light. No power will quench their light. All the days of their life, they will bring honor. They will bring honor to their parents. They will bring honor to the city of America. And their life shall bring glory to God. They shall bring glory to God. They shall bring glory to God. They shall bring glory to God. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in their generation, there will be more men that will serve God. There will be more women that will serve God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of of Jesus, the work of the Lord, the signs and wonder, it shall increase in that generation, in that generation, in that generation, in that generation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, ye generation, hear ye the voice of the Lord. The Bible says, Listen, He said, Listen, generation, listen, 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 listen. These children, they will serve the Lord, they will be mighty arrows, they will stand firm. That generation, we serve the Lord, we serve the Lord, we serve the Lord. Lord. We serve the Lord. We serve the Lord. We serve the Lord. They shall be used for more. They shall be used for more. They shall do more. They shall do more. More than the former things. More than the former things. This generation, the later generation, they will do greater works. They will do more works for the blood. For Jesus. For Jesus. His name will prevail in their generations. In generations to come, Jesus will prevail. 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 Can we shall fire? 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 Can we say fire? Say fire? Say fire? Say fire? Say fire? Say amen? 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 What God cannot do? What God cannot do? What God cannot do? Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the King of glory. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we adore you. Hallelujah. Be thy holiness. They will serve the Lord. They will know you. They will do more. They will be made for more. They will be made for more. That life will be more. That generation will do more. More than what we have done. They will do more. 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 More, 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 more. Shada bada bada, ya bada shada bada, Shana na lebo, shana na ba. Can you just lift your hands, lift your hands to heaven, and tell Jesus, say, I want more of you. I want more of you. I want more of you. I step into my more. I step into my more. I step into my more. Oh, it's all about you, Jesus. It is all about you. It is all about you, Lord. We want more of you. We want more. We want more, Lord. Yes. Hey, uh, you make my life so beautiful. I do I have a 
witness this morning. Sing with me. And as you are, you have made me here on earth. Say there's nothing greater. There's nothing greater than this. That's why I love. That's why I love you. Forevermore. Forever. Hey, say. You make my life. You make my life so beautiful.
Shabada. Go ahead. Open your mouth and ask him for more. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I want more of you. Oh, do not take it for granted. Open your mouth. Declare it. You are a prophet of yourself. You are a prophet of your destiny. You are a prophet of your tomorrow. Open your mouth. Declare it. Say, Jesus, I want more of you. I want more of you. I want more of you. I know the more I have more of you, the more victorious I will become. The more of you I come, the greater I become. The more of you I have, my passions brighter and brighter. Ask for more. 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 The more, the more we become. The more we become. The more glorious we become. The more we become. Our later part of our life will be the greater part of our life. The more of Him we have. The more of Him we have. The more of Him we have. Our tomorrow will be greater. Will be greater. Than our today, because of the more, open your mouth, ask him, fill me of your more, fill me more, fill me more, ask him, be deliberate in Kapashada. Is there to fill you more? That is his desire, that your passion is brighter, that is his desire, that you prosper, that is his desire, that you are made whole and your soul prosper. That is his desire, that is his desire. Open your mouth. The Bible says, if you ask, you will receive. If you ask, you will receive. If you ask, you will receive. If you seek, you will find. If you knock, the door shall be opened. The door of more shall be opened. Open your mouth. Begin to ask for more. Begin to ask for more. Lord, give us more of you. Give us more of you. Because we know the more of you we have, the more our life will become better. The more of you we have will become more prosperous. The more of you we have. We are made whole. The more of you we have, the more of you have. We increase on every side. We become more fruitful. The more of you we have, the more of you we have. We multiply. We multiply. The more of you we have, we can dominate. The more of you we have, we can subdue. We can subdue. It is the more of you. Open your mouth. Begin to ask him. Ekapakata. Rapate. Ekapate. Ekapata. Ask for more. Ask for more. Ask for more. Lord, I take more. I take more. I take more. Take your more. Take your more. Take your more. Take your more. Shakabada. Ekabada. Eabada. Eabada. Who you were yesterday? Who you were yesterday? Ekapata. Ekapa. He's not the one that God wants. He wants a fresh you. He wants a fresh you. He wants a greater you. And for you to become a greater you. Ask him for more. Ask him for more. Let him fill you up with more. More of himself. More of his power. More of his glory. More of his mercy. More of his anointing. More. 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 More of his grace. Ask him for more. Oh, Shakabada. Arabada. Elabada. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. He's rich. He wants to give you more. He desires to give you more. That is his own desire. He wants you to have more. More. He said that we do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can ever imagine or even ask. Ask him for that more. Ask him for that more. For he said, I know the plans I have for you. Is the plan of more. Is the plan to bring you to an expected end. Ask him, oh Lord, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. More of you. More of you. More of your wisdom. For the Bible says that is a pure wisdom that comes from above. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Lord, we ask you. We ask you this morning. Fill us. Fill us. Open your mouth. Say, fill me. Open your mouth. Say, fill me. Say, fill me. Say, fill me. Thunder, say, fill me. Thunder, say, fill me. Say, fill me with more. Thunder, say, fill me with more. Declare it. Say, fill me with more. Shout it. Say, fill me with more. Say, fill me with more. Say, fill me with more. Lord, fill us afresh. Fill us with more. More of you. More. 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 Declare it. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. A closed mouth is a reduction. You can never be reduced. It can never be reduced. Say. Say. Fill me with more. Fill me with more.
more. Fill me with more. Fill me with more. Rabashabadabada. Lord, we ask for your more. Lord, we ask for your more. More of you in our life. More of you in our family. More of you in our children's life. More of you in our businesses. More of you in our career. More of you in our destiny. More of you in our purpose. Let us reduce. Lord, let it be all about you. Let our life be all about you. That at the end, you will say to us, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Because we have received more. And we will do more. We receive more. We will become more. We shall do more. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Do you have more? Have you received your more? Are you sure you have more? Are you sure you have more? Can you give us a shout? Okay, let me hear your shout. Let me hear the shout of the warriors have received more. If you know you have received more. If you know you have your more. Give him a shout. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Father, we bless you. Father, we say thank you. None of us will be reduced in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace upon this house, it will work for all of us. We shall have more. Sins of jealous, we shall increase. We shall increase. Everyone shall increase. Everyone will become more. They become more. Their family become more. Their children become more. Their destiny become more. Their testimonies become more. Back to back testimonies. More testimonies. More victories. More victories. More victories. More victories. More victories. More victories. For what God cannot do. What God cannot do. What God cannot do. Are you excited to be in the house of more? Put those hands together and add a shout. A shout. Hallelujah. Father, we say thank you. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you for this time in your presence. We have come to ask for more. We will become more in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, we have prayed. Please, can we remain standing? As we read the word of life, is the word that guarantees our more. Anything the world has declared, any judgment of the world, it becomes a reality in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, we shall become more all the days of our lives. No one is permitted here to reduce in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, quickly, can we look at um, First Chronicles? It's a very, very popular scripture. A lot of you might have heard about Jabez. You heard about Jabez, but we're going to see what the Holy Spirit is telling us with the story of Jabez. First Chronicles 4, verse 9. We just do the 9 and 10, and we step into our more in Jesus' name. We shall step into our more in Jesus' name. As Jabez enter his more, we also shall step into our more. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No power will stop us. No accusation will stop us. We shall all enter our more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Remember, we are mass choir. It means one heart, one unity, one purpose. Um, um, from verse 4, verse 9. One, two, three, go. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pains. Verse 10. And Jabez called unto the Lord of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil and that I may not cause pain. So the Lord granted him what he has requested in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you for everyone here. Whatever they have requested by the reason of today's service and by the reason of more, Father, grant it unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant it unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, we have prayed. Amen. Please, can we have a seat? God bless you. Tell your, tell your neighbor, I am made for more. Tell your neighbor, I am made for more. Tell your neighbor, I am made for more. I am made for more. Hallelujah. 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 You know, in life, we all want more. Every, everyone here, I know you all desire more. We desire more love. We desire more money. We desire more respect. So when I said more money, somebody started laughing. We all desire more. We desire more rest. We desire more influence. We all desire the more of the good things of life. Am I correct? Those that are single, they desire to get married. 
and those that are married, they desire that their marriage, you know, is sweeter and sweeter every day. Am I correct? Those that have children, they want their children to excel. Everything in life, God has made it that way that we all desire more. If you have a work, you don't want to stay in that position forever. You want promotion. When promotion comes, more comes, celebration comes. Am I correct? So everybody, life has made it that way that we all desire more. Our life is built in such a way that we desire more. And that is why our age is always more. Do you understand? Nobody, nobody remains one today. Next year, you become two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in that order, that is how the order that God has put life. There is demand for more. If God didn't want us to have more, probably all of us would have still be a year old. Am I correct? See, we stay with our mom. Am I correct? But all of us are increasing every, every day. I think last yesterday or so, some people had their birthday. So they've added more. So life is all about more. So no one is permitted to remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. When you have a child, and the child is 12 years, and he's still behaving like if he's a year old, you know you become worried. Because that's not the destiny. That's not the purpose of that child. Everything in life has been designed to be more. Do we understand? So you also are designed to be more. Are we good? Are we good? So, um... And I want us to understand that for you to become more where we are currently now, you cannot become more when you still hold on to yesterday's baggage. Nah. Nah. For you to become more, you cannot hold on to the things of the old. You cannot hold on to the pains of the old. You cannot hold on to the things that someone has done to you in the old. You hold it. And when you, anytime they sit with you, you say, remember in 2019, you know, you're not just sitting with you, you begin to recall from 2019. And when somebody tells you, let me start from the beginning, I say, wait, where's the beginning? They say from 20, 1980. I say, are we going to finish today? You see, they are going to start from that old baggage. More does not want you to hold on to those old baggage. Do we understand? So I want you to know that the more does want you to hold on to the old mindset. The more does want you to speak like the old. The more does want you to believe like the old. The more does want you to conform with the patterns of the old. There is a more in you. And for that more to bust out, you have to embrace the new. Do we understand? You have to embrace the new. And that's why his mercies are new every morning. If his mercies are not new, which means the one of yesterday is sufficient for today, say, no, no, no. I want you to enter more. Therefore, I give you new mercy. Every day, new mercy. Every day, new mercy. Do we understand that? So his mercies are new every morning. And that's why the Bible says you will not take an old, a new wine and put in an old wine skin. It will bust the wine. It will bust the. It will bust it because it's not right. So God wants us to move into our more. He is more. He is more happy to see his children move into their more. He is not happy when he sees his children being stagnated. He's against his handwork. He's against his creation because in the beginning he blessed each and every one of us and he gave us a command and he gave us a decree and he put a judgment in us. He said, "Be fruitful, have dominion, multiply, so." Subdue, subdue, dominion, multiply, take over, take charge. He is not happy when things are taking charge over us. We are just mocking what he has done. And he said, my children, can you see and request for more? Ask for more, I will give you, just like Jabez. Are we good? So, from the story we have read, from the little time I have, I will draw some things. <clears throat> because for us to have more, there are certain things we need to understand from the story of Jabez. He was not just there just for us to, it wasn't just a story, but there are certain principles of Jabez that God wants us to imbibe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number one thing the Bible says in verse 9, it says Jabez was more honorable. He was more honorable. He was more honorable. So for you to desire more, that some, some foundation you have to build your more on. That is the foundation of honorable. Can we see and say wherever we are, people will see us as being more honorable. So means that people that are honorable, but you are, you are more honorable. You are more honorable. So the question is, when you say, oh, pastor, what is honorable? So the word honorable has 
It has to do with people that um, they are, they are, they are, people that have to do with their actions. Their actions are honest. Their words are honest. They are fair. And they are worthy of respect. These are honorable people. Their actions, their words, they are honest. They can be fair. And they are worthy of respect. Those, when you talk about honorable people, those are the kind of the, some of the qualities you see in honorable people. Do you understand? Is a person, a person who is honorable is someone who believes in the truth. You believe in the truth. You believe believe in the truth and you do everything to do the right things. You try as much as you can to live by the truth. I remember the word of God is the truth. So which means you try as much as you can to live your life by the word of the God, by the word of the Because the word of the Lord, they are truth. Do you understand? Jesus said the words I speak to, they are spirit and they are life. You stay with the word, you live the word. So honor people who are very disciplined people. They are very disciplined. And the word of God helps them, you know, they walk with the word. Because it's not easy to walk with the word because of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. This thing, they will compete every day. As I speak to you now, there are some people that is dragging the thing. The lust of the flesh is taking their mind somewhere. But I command that mind to come back here in the mighty name of Jesus. It's every day contention. They will contend with the word. Do we understand? So God wants us to be honorable. We have to be honorable to enter our more. You have to be honorable. You have to be honorable. Do you understand? And let me, let's begin to see how Paul was advising Timothy to be honorable. So let's say Paul is now advising all of us, we are all believers, to be honorable, including myself. So you can see in 1 Timothy 6 verse 9, he said, um, But those who desire to be rich falls into temptation and a snare and into foolish and harmful lusts, which do men in disaster and destruction. So, he's telling us, Paul is now advising us, do not desire, he's not, he's not saying that wealth is bad, because God said, my dish above all things that you prosper. He said, but those that desire just riches, all they want is just, I want to be rich. I want money. Money. They, they're not thinking, how can I create value to make money? No. I want money. What service can I render to mom make money? No. I want money. What product can I produce to make money? They say, no. I want money. 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 Those are the people he's talking about. Not someone that wants to work and, you know, get paid or create a product like this product that we are using. Somebody created it and they're getting money from it. That's not what God is talking about. He said there's a desire. Some people, they just want money. I told you of a story on NSPPD of a young boy that was doing very well in school, an engineering student. He now said, you know what? I don't want to school anymore. I want to make what? Money. I want what? Riches. So he left school. Guess what he did? He went and he joined, you know, those, um, those boys that will scam people from their money. Fire will consume all of them. Fire awaits all of them. If they don't repent, fire will consume them. Fire will consume them. Fire will consume them. Fire will consume them. The judgment of the Lord, if they refuse to repent, if they refuse to repent, let the judgment of the Lord, let it visit them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. If they've not scammed you, you will not understand what I'm saying. You will not understand. They took my picture and they scammed somebody of one point something million naira. They want more, but they don't want to work. They want more, they don't want to serve. They want more, they don't want to be. Fire will judge them. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. If they refuse to repent, let the earth work against them. Let the sun scorn them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Earth will swallow them. Earth will swallow them. In the mighty name of Jesus. If they refuse to repent in the mighty name of Jesus. They don't want to work, but they want money. They want money. So this boy, as I was saying, he left the university. He said he wanted to be rich. What Paul was talking about. I met some friends. And you know, you always have friends. When you have negative things, it has a way to attract you to negativity. So that negative thought began to order his step. So the first step of the wicked, I call it ordered also by the wicked. So he met some set of friends. And this is friend. Say, you want more? He said, yes. I want to be rich. I want to drive this car. I want to drive that car. I want to own a house. I want to have all the girls. I want them to come to me so that I can be rich. Wrong mindset. Wrong motives. Good. Those friends say, okay. 
We will show you how. To, true life story is on NSPPD. True life story. He said, okay, we'll take you to go make more money. He's happy. He left his school, left his engineering, left his intelligence, left the wisdom God gave to him. He wanted to make more money. He followed this guy. He said, we are going to a deep forest. We are going to go into a deep forest. In that deep forest, we'll be initiated. We'll do some sacrifice, and you begin to see money. He said, yes. He was excited. He was happy. Meanwhile, his siblings, his mother and father, they are on SPPD platform. They are praying. They tell, he said he's not joining SPPD. That they should go. They are shouting. They are disturbing him. So he didn't want to join. He followed his friends. They went into a deep forest. They continued to go. And he was happy. As he was going, he was excited. He was seeing more money, riches. He was going, he was going, he was going, he was going. So they got to a place, one deep inside, inside. So they said they will make some concussion for them to drink. It's part of the preparation for where we are going. Say yes. So when they mix two, he will take four. He will say, I want more. I want more money. I want more money. Others are taking two. He said, give me a extra two. He will take four. They are watching him. Ah, the spirit is high. They bring something else. They say, do one. He will do two. Ah, he said, I want more money. So in his mind, he's thinking of more money. He's already seen the houses, seen the cars, seen how we were bling bling and all that. So he wants more. He continued. So when they finished, they said one more. So the one more was to kill somebody. So one man, one man looked at him in that thing. One man looked at him and called him. He said, come. And he came. He said, he called, are you from this tribe? He said, yes. I'm from this tribe. He told him as he's speaking now, he should begin to run any way he can run. That they're all planning to kill him. He is a sacrifice for the more. He is a sacrifice. They have seen that his power will generate more money for them. They have seen that his ginger will bring that and that is a wrong total mindset. So he began to walk, run. And he was running. He was running. And they started looking for him. So he went to hide somewhere. And where he hid himself, he said, oh God, he didn't call the God of NSPPD. He said, that God that um, my brothers and sisters used to pray, that God that this, please come and help me. Come and help me. Because where he was hiding, he saw them pass him. They could have seen him, but somehow grace kept him. The grace of the Lord, the prayer of mothers, the prayer of fathers, the prayer how God hears. That grace just kept him. They passed him and they didn't see him. And that was how he escaped. And when he went back home, he told his parents what happened. And he asked for mercy. And he began to say, oh God of NSPPD. He now entered another dimension. Do we understand? So this is the kind of riches his, um, Paul is talking about. So when you, when you request things for, for evil agenda, for evil, God wants us to, he wants to prosper all of us, but he wants your prosperity to reflect his glory. He wants your prosperity to reflect that this is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous. He wants your prosperity to use it to help people, to raise them, not to talk them down, not to bring them down, to further the kingdom, to win more souls, to add to the kingdom. That is the more that God wants us to have in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you continue reading that scripture in verse 11, it says, But you, O man, woman of God, he said, Flee from these things. He said, Pursue righteousness, pursue gentleness, pursue faith, pursue love, pursue patience, pursue gentleness. He's telling you, he's advising all of us. This is what we should pursue. This is what we should chase. When we chase this thing, Bible says, seek first the kingdom and the righteousness of this kingdom. That Every other thing shall definitely, compulsorily, must, shall be added to you. Hallelujah. So God is telling us, please put your heart in the kingdom. And in the verse 12, he said, fight a good fight of faith. Holding on to eternal life. Fight the good fight of faith. Every day is a fight. Don't let anyone deceive you. This life you live. Let me tell you something. I was telling somebody yesterday. Was it day before yesterday? That how you came into this world determines how you live in this world. All of us here. All of us here. Do you know we all fought to enter this world? This world? Let me tell you, you all of us, our mother, there were almost 
thousands, the doctors will tell me, correct? There are millions of sperm that run after the I run after the egg, am I correct? So, there are millions. So, all of us here, we are able to defeat millions. If you did not defeat those millions, I, you will not be here. Some of them fell on the wayside. Some of them did not enter. But you entered. Because you have entered, it means you have the capacity. You have everything in you to become more. You have everything to overtake. You have everything to overcome. You have everything to stand. Nothing can pull you down. Nothing can stop you. For in the beginning, when you are going into your mother's womb, you have the strength, you have the tenacity, you have the capacity, you have the capability. You entered. Hallelujah. 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 So you have everything in you to enter. So now you have entered the world. Do not now relax because there are things I want to take your position. There are things I want to stop you. So understand, Bible says, fight a good fight of faith. A good fight of faith is a fact that Jesus has won for us. All you need to do is to stay by the finished work of the cross. Declare it. Speak it. Stand on it. Day and night. Stay with it. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. And you carry your testimony. It's a fight. It's a good fight. It's not a loose fight. It's not a anyhow fight, but a very good one. God has promised all of us here, fight your good fight of faith. You might be in academics. You might be in getting married. Anywhere. He said it's a good fight. It's a good fight. Do not be like a desical in life. Do not be lazy in life. Fight your good fight with the word of God in the place of prayer. Stay. Stay. God has equipped you. God has loaded you. Hallelujah. Always remember, if you were not loaded, you will not be here. I will not be here. But you defeated millions of spare, millions of people. God chose you. For you to enter, God hands was upon you. There is something about you. You are special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. That is what God says. That should tell you, remember, you are fearfully. You are wonderfully made. There were millions that wanted to take your place. But I said, no, for you, I will watch you. I will guide you. And you continue. You are never weary. You are never weary. You are never stranded. You continued until you entered. And here you are today. Fear nothing. Let nothing stop you. You are special. Fearfully, wonderfully made. In Jesus' name. Amen. So that's number one. The number two thing I want you to understand. I wish I had more time. The number two is the battle from the mother's womb. Battle from the mother's womb. If you read that, um, if you read that scripture, it said, I bore him. He was called Jabez because I bore him in pains. There is a battle from your mother's womb. There are certain battles people are fighting today is because of the mother's womb battle. There is always battle from the mother's womb. And I will tell you it is true. Because when Hannah needed a child, he said, Lord, give me this child. Even the child was not there. He said, give this child to me. And this child, I will dedicate him from the mother's womb. He will serve the Lord. And somewhere till today, we know that he served the Lord fervently. So there are battles from the mother's womb. Some mothers don't understand how this battle works. This is how it works. At times, a woman is expecting and she wants a boy. She in her mind, perhaps she has two girls or she wants her first to be a boy. So she's expecting a boy and it happens to be a girl. There's a kind of resentment in the first instance. A resent. The moment that thing comes, Satan takes it as a legal ground to begin to accuse that child. They have resented you. You will not, you, you'll be facing depression. You'll be facing backwardness. There's a resentment. You have given Satan a legal ground to accuse this child and let this child go back. There's some when they are, when, 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 when they are pregnant, they begin to, you know, and that is, that is why you see some children, they, they, they are boy and don't behave like girl. Or they are girl, don't behave like boy. Because in their mother's womb, their mother expected something else and something else came out. So there is an expectation. Bible says the expectation shall not be cautious. So there's an expectation that the mother has put inside. There was someone that was telling me that when the mother took in, the father said, I bought this child. I don't want this child. You can see when a father is saying to me, I don't want this child. Remove this child. What do you think? The child has a spiritual realm. Spiritual realm have ears. We are all spirits. We are all spirits. They have ears. They understand. You mean a child is coming to this world and there are already accusations already. Even the Bible says, out of my mother's womb, iniquity I was formed. So there's a contention against this child. That's why if you are a mother here, if you are a mother, you have children or you're expecting children, never allow your mouth to be quiet. You see, when you wake up, you speak 
to this, you speak to them. You see, you declare to these children because there is war. Something won their soul. The kingdom of darkness, they desire their soul. I was saying on Thursday service, there are some people that started in the kingdom of God, but somewhere along the line, they lost it, they missed it. And some of them are well known people, huge in talent, huge in gifts. If I call her name, everybody will know her name. Everybody will know who she is. She's an American. She started in the kingdom. But because that power wants them, once they see that this one has a seed of greatness, they reinforce her. They, and they will not stop until they take. Until they take. She was she started as a gospel musician. From there, she derailed. And she started into the worldly music. She had fame. You see what Jesus, see Paul was telling. See Paul was telling. Say, do not pursue this thing. She now pursue riches. She now, and one day, they say, come and take more crack. That was where her destruction started. She took that crack. And from that day, the kingdom of Asher keep her good to see her. Oh God, we decree and declare her. As these children have said, oh listen, we command the word. Let the word listen to what they have declared today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. None of them will miss it. Their generation will serve God. Their generation will be more for Jesus. They will carry more fire. They will carry more fire. More anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus. She took that one sip. And that one sip killed her. That one sip, she continued from there. Her voice, oh, when I listened to her sing, when I was in Africa, I said, who is this woman? I was I started liking her. But everything, she died. And her daughter too, probably followed that pattern. Battle of the womb. Battle of the womb. Her daughter followed. The way she died was the exact way the mother, this daughter died. The daughter died that same way. The mother was 50 something. The mother, the daughter was 20 something. That same way, that same way. Battle of the womb. Do we understand? That same way. Satan understands pattern. He does not joke with God's children. It's us that do not know what. <laughs> you are laughing with the enemy. The enemy is not laughing with you. And he's not going to tell you he's laughing. He's going to bring the loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh, the cares of this world. He makes it look subtle. He makes it look beautiful. You will love it. You want to really resist it. But he knows he has come to steal, kill, and destroy. He destroyed that wonderful soul. I had a battle. 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 How many great men? I was telling them in school. How many great men? R. Kelly, where is he today? Battle. Look at where he is. He is wealthy. He's sang. Where is he? He is no, he's in, he's in jail. He's in jail. Bobby Brown. It's not Bobby Brown. No, it's not Bobby Brown. And what's his name? Um, my, no, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Even Michael Jackson was part of them. I was showing my wife. The other day, look at his. I was looking at him. Dark, handsome. I was saying, look at this voice. Shut up. That was up two days ago. I said, look at this voice. Hey, yeah, yeah. But the kingdom of darkness did not allow that man to see the fullness of what blessing, the gift that God has given to him. Battles. Do not take it lightly. Do not take it for granted. Every day there is something that wants your soul. Every day there is something that wants to take you back. They are deliberate. They are consistent. And they are very persuasive. Remember that. Remember, you coming to church is not a waste of time. It's shielding you. There's a shield you get. Every time you hear the word of God, every time the word of God is shared, there's something that is happening to your spirit. Hallelujah. This battle, they are real. They are fierce. This is a fierce battle. It's a fight. Fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Um, so, quickly. Um, and remember what a wise woman like Hannah did. He said, I will dedicate this child. I will stay on the altar of prayer. I will stay praying. I, I, I don't know how many of you had had the, when Papa, uh, our Papa, Pastor Jerese, was talking about, about the mother. Oh, Shaka. He said at times he will wake up by 1, 2 a.m. The mother is holding his feet. The mother is crying. The mother is praying. The mother is crying. The mother is praying. He said at times the mother will say, Lord, you know I can't take this son to what you have. Lord, help him. Take him to what you want him to become. That is the, I, the mother understood the battle for that son. He stayed and she prayed consistently. Some of us who our mothers have done such. The one prayed, even when the son brought employment offer from UNICEF, from UN, good money. The mother said, that's not what God told me about you. That was a battle for his soul. Imagine if he has taken that offer letter, he will be in UNICEF. Today, there will be no streams of joy, Dallas, because he has negotiated. The enemy has allowed 
led him not to negotiate his future, to negotiate his destiny, but because of a mother, a mother that understood the battle and stood and prayed consistently. Look at what he's doing today. Look at what, look at the mighty lives that are being transformed just because of one man and because of a mother that stood and prayed, oh God, do for this son, do for this boy. I cannot train this boy the way you want, but oh God, you know at all things, I pray day and night. God bless mothers. God bless mothers. God bless mothers. Hallelujah. It's not too late. If you're a mother, and if I intend to be a mother, start now. There's no time that is late to the things of the Spirit. Begin to call the things forth. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, um, quickly. And for you to break into your mom, you must be restless. More is a personal thing, though. It's not a collective thing. As I'm sharing the word of God as it's coming, you will take it for yourself. It's not a collective, it's not a company. It is not a company. It is a collective thing. You must be restless to enter more. If you are not restless, you will not find more. Because they will not let you go. These people on this side, they, are, they know the pride of life, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh. They will hold you. They will not want you to go. But you must become restless. Bible says when you become restless, you will break the yoke off your neck. You must become restless. Where you are, you must say, no, I am made for more. I am made for more. I am like Jabez. I am made for more. I am made for more. I will not stay there. I will not stay here. I become restless. You become restless. You must be restless to enter your mall. If you are not restless, you will not see more, I tell you. I don't joke with you, but that is the truth. You must desire it. Nobody gets be to, to become a medical doctor just like wishing to be a medical doctor. Nobody becomes a graduate by wishing to become a graduate. You cannot wish to be a graduate. Never. You will stay in that house. You will not get, you will illiterate. Illiterate will sit with you. Conk illiterate. What are you wishing to be a graduate? What are you doing? I'm not wishing. Have you gone to take the exam? No. I'm just wishing. Have you gone to the exam? No. Are you reading? No. I am wishing, my brother. You will illiterate. Conk stack. Illiterate. It's not, nobody here is illiterate. <laughs> that is how it is. You must go for your mom. You must go for your mom. It must be even in your character. There's certain character I want to keep you here, but you say no from today. I refuse to align to this character. I have entered my mom. I carry the spirit of the Lord. I begin, you, you, you have to be restless. Hallelujah. So when you are restless, you will break the yoke off your neck. Hallelujah. So you have to be restless. Number two thing I want you to know, if you need your mom, you have to surrender to God. You have to surrender. You must die to yourself. Bible say, except the corn of weed falls down and die, it abideth on its own. But when that corn of weed falls down and dies, you see, it grows and brings out more fruit. Do you understand? So also is the things of life. You must give certain things away. If you like drinking, not in this kingdom. Bible say, give the ones that are perishing, give them alcohol. Let them be perishing with alcohol. So you cannot allow those things to bind you. If you like fornication and all those things, please go and marry. And don't allow that spirit to hold you back. It's a strong accusation. If you are the marriage, Stop it. I will tell you I'm your pastor. Stop it. Satan will use it to hold you. He will use it to prevent you from entering your mouth. He will stop you when he knows that you have that spot stop. God's mercy is here. But engage his mercy. Turn around. Do a 360 in the mighty name of Jesus. Stop it. I'm telling you, I don't know who you say, but stop it. It's not the right life. God wants you to enjoy this life. Enjoy the fullness of it. Do you understand? So please do not engage in those lifestyles. It will not help you. It's only going to establish a legal ground and Satan will use it to stop you. Stop your destiny. Stop your purpose. Stop your fullness. Stop your beauty. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He will stop you. By the enemy, when, 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 when you plant a good seed, the enemy will come. Those things are him coming. You think it's a, he thinks it's a joy of the flesh. No, 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 no. He is coming. He is coming to steal. He is coming to kill. He is coming to destroy. Stop those negative habits. Hey, gossip is part of it. Those are his symptoms. Gossip is part of it. Those are his symptoms. If you see somebody, pray for that person. Gossip is part of it. Those are the things he uses. And when he uses to gossip, he will, he will, they will gossip about you too. He will not let you go because he has you become a tool in his hand. Hallelujah. So stop those things. Stop it. It's not good. 
Bible says Jesus had no reputation. What is your reputation? Except the fall, he falls and dies. Jesus fell and died. Look at all of us here today. We are saved because of he fell and he died. So what is your reputation that is stopping you from becoming all Christ has called you to become? Some, they don't want correction. You can't correct them. When you correct them, they say, no, you can't correct me. You can't tell me what to do. Fall and die. In this kingdom, <laughs> your reputation, when you think you have so much reputation, you won't go far. I remember one time I was, I don't know I've talked about here. I was the minister in charge of traffic. Then the pastor, we had pastor's meeting. And in the meeting, they said nobody should park their cars outside so that other people who can park their car at the back, so that the new people can park their car outside. So I was the person in charge. So in the minister's meeting, they gave the command that nobody should park except one car. Probably I know that car, so park that. All others go this way. So on that faithful Sunday, as the minister in charge, I told my boys, order, nobody should, everybody go this way. That's on stop on you, so I put on stop on. They think they are special. They are untouchable. I said, tell them to go and park here. They shouldn't park there. That it was an order. Do you understand? So when they carried the order, they went and reported me. They reported me. In service, they reported. They wrote, because they, you see, when you think you are like this, they went and reported me. And the pastor came outside. And he said, oh, I have heard. But I said, but you said that nobody should park here. I was all obeying your command. He said, no, from today. It, it, it just embarrassed me. Leave the traffic. Go. I don't want you to be here. Go. Everybody was looking at me. I said, thank you, sir. I put my hand in my pocket. I went back inside the church. I sat in the front, joined praise and worship. I said, thank God, I'm not outside again. I am not inside. I can worship God. Hallelujah. 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 But if I was full of myself, I said, no. How dare you talk to me? You gave me the order. And I did what you said. And in front of all these people, you shouted at me. You made me look less. Who are you? What? I said, I'm, I'm leaving this church. I'm going. When they were looking for somebody to come to America to pray the church of who did they call? <laughs> die to yourself. This kingdom, you die to yourself. You die to yourself. It might even be your place of work. Your boss will just shout. Your boss will just shout. Be quiet, be calm. You know it's his fault. You told him the right thing, but because he's your boss, he shouts to make you look as if you don't know what you're doing. Be quiet, be calm. Take him to the fire altar. Take him to the fire altar. Reverse it. The next day you come, he will shake you. How are you? Sit here. And when they are looking for manager, guess what? You're on the line. Because you die to self. This kingdom will die to self. Don't be too full of yourself to take correction. Don't be too full. If you are too full, you can't take that Satan. Satan was full. He wanted to be like God and see where he is today. But Jesus died. And see where all of us are. More fruits are coming every day. In Dallas, you know the number of people that give their life to Jesus? Dallas has 7.5 million people. We decree and we pray for them. Every day they are coming to Jesus. Every day they are coming to Jesus. Because of what he has done, he died to himself. If you refuse to die, you will abide alone. You will abide alone. But here, nobody will refuse to die. We will all die to ourselves. We will all die to selfishness. We will all die to pride. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will make ourselves of no reputation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Another thing, um, number three, heartfelt prayer. Heartfelt prayer. Just have two more things and we go. Heartfelt prayer. He said, oh, the moment you hear oh, know that that prayer was intent. It was from his inside. He said, oh, in James 6, 16. He said the effectual fervent prayer. Your prayer must not, if you want to seek for more, you do not pray butter, butter, because they are not going to leave you butter, butter. They want you to go with them. But your prayer, fire. I was speaking to someone yesterday. She said, after we prayed, and she said something came to this. I said, eh, they came where to disturb it. I was waiting for her to land. I've given her the manual. And I've given her how to deal with those things. Because we understand. They know us. We know them. We are not playing. We know we are not playing with each other. So after we have prayed for her, did everything, and she left. And I just called to check up. You know, I know. I came to just check up how you're doing. She said something. She said, eh, so where? I was just listening to hear her say. She now said the thing came. It was pressing her. I said, pressing you again in this place. He said, but after, she, when she started calling fire, she said, she said, Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. She said, it didn't took fire. I, was, I said, I was waiting. I didn't train you to be ordinary. You think they will come back after we dislodge them? They will want to come back. Don't know if you know who you are. They will try you. But when you give them, Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, 
fire. They will begin to run because you are sending them back to the hell of fire. They don't want to go there. When they see that you carry fire, they will run. They will say, leave this one. They are on fire. Leave this one. Sins of joy, Dallas. Leave them. Leave NSVP, the children. Leave them. Go here. Don't have fire. Go. They can't near you. They can't touch you. You carry fire. Jesus said, I have come to baptize you with the spirit and with fire. He knew what he was saying. He knew what he was giving to you. Fire will pursue them. They can't stand fire. Fire will destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we shout fire, we are not playing. We know what we are doing. Jesus said in Matthew 3, 11, I pour her baptize you with water. It's good to have water, but Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He will give you the spirit. He will give you fire. When you declare fire, he knows where he's coming from. He knows how he dislodged them. He used that same fire to defeat them. He said, I've come to give you that fire. Dislodge them. Defeat them. Give them fire. Shout fire. Can we shout fire? 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is fire. They don't withstand fire. That kingdom, fire takes them back to where they're supposed to be. And they don't want to go down time. They want to, they want to win muscles for their kingdom. But when you give them fire, even at times, when you shout fire and one is stubborn, wants to go, his master will say, he will stop and get out. Go here. You want to reduce us? That fire will consume you now. He will send and you will reduce by one. So he they understand. They don't need a fire. You can't be a man or woman that needs more amount of fire. You should be on fire. Because if not, they are coming for your fire. They are coming. And they might allow you. You think everything is good. Job is good. Hamlet is good. They go and put something in the womb of time and wait for you. But when you're on fire, before they go there, you can meet them there. Fire! They will run again. Fire! It's not only today, you do it for the future. Fire! You know, they will go five years, ten years, hundred years. What do you do? We give them fire! Every crooked path, you go to the spirit, make it straight. Fire! 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 You begin to chase them. You begin. Don't let them, don't be reactive, be proactive. Don't be a reactive Christian, be a proactive. They, those proactive ones are the ones they will go in. Nothing will, nothing will hurt them by day, by night, because they are proactive. You're on fire. You're on fire. Have you seen those cartoons? You have fireman. When they go, they destroy your fire. Do you understand? So you're on fire. Hallelujah. Finally, finally, you must speak covenant words. You must speak covenant words. Do you understand? As a woman that wants more, you must be able to speak covenant words. Do you understand? When there's situation, tell your neighbor, say, speak covenant words. No, no, touch your neighbor. Touch your neighbor. Some of them are not here. Touch them. Touch them. Touch them. Do you, uh, touch, I know what I'm saying. Touch them. Say, speak covenant words. Touch them. Say, fire. Touch them. Say, fire. Touch them. Say, fire. Touch that one. Say, fire. Some of them, the, the enemy has come. I've seen the enemy. Say, fire. Say, fire. Hallelujah. You know, we see them when they want to take some food. Say, no, fire, fire, hallelujah, hallelujah. So he said, oh, speak covenant word, that you bless me indeed, enlarge my territory. Those things are covenant words. Do you understand? In the beginning, God blessed us. He put a covenant. He said, be fruitful, have dominion, multiply, subdue the earth. Those are covenant words. So in your prayer, in your time of study, speak covenant word. When they come, speak covenant word. Don't speak what you think. Don't speak your emotion. Don't speak how you feel. Speak covenant word. At times, you might want to speak how you feel. The lady was telling me that she started feeling bad. Say, but she has prayed, though. She has not. I was just looking there. She said, I have prayed. I don't. I'm not asking God. God, where are you? I, I can't hear you. And I said, we are here. Aye, aye. But when she reversed and she entered covenant world, everything changed. She now told me they ran away. They ran. She became stronger. She said, you now know how to do it. Do it. Speak covenant word. Whatever you want, speak covenant word. Regarding your children, speak covenant word. Sarah spoke covenant word. He said, this I will give to you. I will dedicate this one to you. They will serve you. And she did just say, she stayed in the place of prayer. She continued to enforce it. Enforce covenant word until you see the result. Never stop speaking it. Never stop declaring it. Keep, even when you see it, don't stop. Because then they won't leave you. He came to Jesus three times. And he couldn't take Jesus at the first time. He came the second time. He came the third time. And guess what? He now went into the, into the future and went to wait for Jesus. But you know, that was his death. Jesus allowed him because Jesus had died. 
Do you understand? But Jesus allowed it to be. But guess what? He is always speaking and he's always coming back. But you know who you are. You know the words you speak. They know the fire you carry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready to declare covenant words? Are we ready to declare covenant of more? Our path will shine more. We will become more. Can we be on our feet? We are going to begin to speak covenant words this morning. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. We are going to speak covenant words. We are going to speak covenant words. We are going to behave like Jabez. We are going to declare those words. Oh Lord, you will bless me indeed. You will bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my capacity. Enlarge Enlarge my capacity. Open your mouth. Speak covenant word. 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 Speak it. The earth will hear it. Is a sound in the spirit? You are making a sound in the spirit. Say, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, Oh Lord, bless me indeed. 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 Can we break up a shabada? Open your mouth. Pray, 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 pray. E kabada, oh ya ya ya. E kabada, e kabada. Oh Lord, bless us, bless us indeed, bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory, enlarge our territory, enlarge our territory. Let your hand be upon us, let your hand be upon us, upon our family, upon our children, upon the city of Dallas. We command, let your hand, let your hand, let it be upon us, upon those children, upon those children, upon generations to come. We command, we command, let your hand, let your hand, let your hand. Let your hand open your mouth. Pray. Let the hand of the Lord. 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 Oh Lord, keep us away from evil. Keep us away from evil. Keep us. Keep us. Keep us. We will not hear evil reports. We will not hear evil reports. Keep evil away from us. Keep evil away from us. You did it for Jabez. You will do it for all of us. You did it for Jabez. You will do it for us. We ask the same prayer. Keep us from evil keep us from evil evil temptations evil desire evil desire evil desire evil companies evil friends evil 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 decision oh lord keep us keep us away from every form of evil keep us away we will not make a wrong decision we will not make a wrong decision we will never make a wrong decision keep us away from evil keep us away from evil away from evil away from evil away from evil Away from evil, keep us, keep us, Lord, keep us away, away from all manner of evil, away from all manner of evil. We will know no pain, we will know no pain, no wicked pain will befall us, no affliction will befall us, no affliction will befall us. Keep us, keep us, open your mouth, keep us, keep us away, away from every evil. The sun will not strike us by day, not the moon by night. Keep us, oh Lord, keep us, oh Lord, keep us, oh Lord, away, 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 away. Away, 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 No evil will see us. Every eyes of the evil, we blind them by fire. 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 Keep us, 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 keep us. Thank you. You have answered that prayer. Thank you. You have answered that prayer. 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 Can I hear a loud and thunder? Seven amen. 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 Shaka bara bara bashada. Can we accomplish that? Amen. With seven strong fire, fire, fire. Shada ba. Shake it. Shaba da. Shaba da. It is done, it's established in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, we're still standing. Can we package our tithes and offering? Can we package our tithes and offering? Is your offering for more? You will never be small. Your path will shine brighter and brighter. You will indeed go from glory to glory. You are made for more. You are made for more. Hallelujah. So if you have your tithe, if you have an offering, quickly can you package it? We have three ways to give. 
we have three ways. You want to give cash. The envelope is in front of you. You want to do cash app. Is um, dollar sign SOJ. You do that cash app. And if you want to do via um, via Zell, it's Twins of Joy Dallas at gmail.com. God bless you. Father, thank you for every giver. You will bless them. They are still to bring more for them. They are still to bring habits of more. More will be established. More will be established. More wisdom. More understanding. More wealth. More good associations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give your seed of more. God bless you. Anybody ready to make some declaration? This song is not for the cool. It's not for the big boys. This is for those who want to make declaration. You ready? You ready?
prophetic word, when you declare it, you are calling things that are not as though they were. And you always carry those testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have said, the Lord who has had us, he will answer all our head, increase in our hands, speed on our feet, in the mighty name of Jesus. For what God cannot do. Hallelujah. Quickly, um, the announcement. Uh, there is coming on. We share coming on after the announcement. Is on coming on for more. Hallelujah. So, NSVD continues tonight. Um, we have three days of God that answers by fire. Ay, 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 ay. God that answers by what? Fire. By what? Fire. By what? Fire. By what? Fire. Hallelujah. So on Tuesday, we have Tuesday prayer meeting here. Between 7 and 8, we'll come to declare. we we'll take the kingdom for his glory in Jesus' name. Um, Wednesday, sorry, our Thursdays. Thank you, ma'am. We continue um, our Thursdays of... Um, um, thy kingdom come, hallelujah. Were you here last week? Who were here last week, Thursday? You are blessed, hallelujah. Hallelujah, say if you are blessed, hallelujah. So we continue with that series, a powerful series, that kingdom come. You can never be the same as long as you understand the culture and the practice of the kingdom of God. You will carry everything that the kingdom has for you and your family and generation. In Jesus' name. On Fridays, we have midnight battle cry. All the expressions from North America, from 12, you just come and just pray, 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 pray. pray. Bible says men ought to always pray. When you stop praying, you start fainting. And when you start fainting, the enemy starts taking hold. But we keep praying and we stand on prayer all time in Jesus' name. Sunday, next week, Sunday, the team is overflow. Come on, say, my overflow. Say, my overflow season is here. Say, my overflow season is here. Say, my overflow season is here. Hallelujah. So please come carry overflow in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time we have a team of service, it's not just ordinary team, it's usually a prophetic team. As long as you key into it, you carry it in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, if, you, if you want to still be part of the service unit, we are still open. Our induction, our induction will come on the 24th by 4 p.m. Um, please, 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 if you, are this, if you want to be social media, social media, traffic, security, we still need more people. God bless you as you be part of that service unit. It's going to be corporate, I mean, like almost corporate, but you can come, you know, just come neatly dressed, like we dress. We just want to honor you. I believe and I know that the greatest service you can ever do is the service of God. And that's why we want to celebrate everyone that wants to be part of its service team. And your life will never be the same. Nobody serve God and be the same. Where you walk, you serve them. At the end of the month, they pay you. Imagine the God who is the king of all kings, the owner of everything. When you serve him, your pay will not be quantifiable. One money can buy and one money cannot buy. In the mighty name of Jesus. So be part of the service team. They're still going to share the things to you. Be part of the service team in Jesus' name. Um, remember the three days, the last three days of the month, we are going to meet, I'm going to fast, I'm going to pray. I told you this kingdom, yeah, 
Those people, they know what they are doing. So we serve, we know. So we're going to pray. So you don't throw into the month just like that. Don't throw into the month they have prepared for you. Prepare your month. Hallelujah. Prepare your month. Are we good? Tell your neighbor, prepare your month. Prepare your month ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so um, men's fellowship, um, female fellowship, they meet um, every every first of the month, every first Saturday of the month. From next month, Kelly Fellowship, for those that are 58 and above, they will have a meeting. It's going to be amazing. Um, the Singles Fellowship, we're going to start that will also be from next month. We'll give you more information. And also the couples. We want couples to have the joy and the fullness of marriage. So we're going to start that couples gathering. It's going to be amazing. And for the men's fellowship, we are looking at playing long tennis. Um, and for Saturday, we are making arrangements. So I'm just preparing you. So if you want to be part of it, you want to play. So I want to outbeat all the men here. Except those elderly ones, I will respect them. But all those, I will, I will send them, go here, go here, go here. I will deal with all of you. You, I will deal with you. Try me. You also, I will deal. Just come, you saw this thing. So it's going to be a long time. <laughs> Only daddy, I will respect. I will just respect daddy. But I will respect daddy. But you, you look at like I will send you go this way. Come on, go this way. I will deal you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So please be part of it. So one of one be fun. We're going to be... <laughs> impactful hallelujah so okay if you have testimonies there are testimonies from outside so the usher they have um the service unit thing they'll show you the service and be part of it and also do we have special people fellowship with us for the first time if today is your first and lovely time to be in our god presence can you just give me a white offering can you just give me a hand oh wow 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 can we celebrate that can we celebrate that can we celebrate that there's a more your more has come be on your feet be on your feet be on your feet your more is here your more is here your more has come god bless you come 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 to the front come 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 on i appreciate you tell them to come tell them to come your more is here come 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 i'll appreciate for your more I appreciate it, Lord. 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 As I send my hand to shake him, God said, use him again. We have used those children as a point of contact. He said, use him and use him as a point of contact to his generation. So we are all going to stretch forth prophetically that their generation will serve the Lord. That they shall they will serve the Lord. They will know the Lord. They will seek the Lord. They will be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will be more than us. They will be more than us. They will be more than us. For the Bible says the latter house shall be greater than the former. Let us pray that these are the former generation. These are the later generation. This later generation, they will serve the Lord. They will know the Lord. They will pursue him with all their strength, with all their might. They will use their strength to chase the Lord. They will follow the Lord. They will seek him. They will search him. They will find him. They become signs and wonders generation. Father, you use your son as a point of contact for his generation. You will use them mightily. You will use them graciously. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand shall be upon this generation. As my hand is upon him, so your hand shall be upon this generation. They will never fall. They will never fall in the mighty name of Jesus is established in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we say thank you for everyone you have ordered that step here. Father, in blessing you will bless them. You will guide them. You will provide for them. They shall become more. More in everything. More in their life. More in their family. More in their purpose. More in the works of their hand. More they say more. More and more in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you for you have answered and it is done in Jesus' name name can we appreciate the king of glory one more time can we appreciate him father we say thank you 
Then there's someone waiting there for you. I'm going to reach out to you within the week. I'll call you to know everyone. But they're going to give you a form. Please go with them. God bless you. And quickly come back. We have a good announcement for as you come back. God bless you. Put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. So quickly, can we take our communion of more? It's called the communion of more. As we step out, we step into our more. The prayer as Jabez, God answered Jabez, so he has answered us. We all step into our more. Eat the body of Jesus is a body of more. Father, we say thank you. And drink the blood of the more and new and everlasting covenant. We shall all walk in the more. We shall live in the more. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Lord will bless you. Lord will say thank you. It is done. It's established in Jesus' name. Okay, can we lift up our hand and say, say, are we good? Can we be on our feet quickly? God bless you as we close. God bless you. Say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He's my refuge and my fortress. My God. Say, my God. Say, my God. Say, my God. In him will I trust. Shalom. Okay, so can we sit down? Can we sit down? Um, are we off stream? Okay, you can put that off. Important enough.